35 years ago, the air crackled with the news a Great Lakes ore boat, the kind we often see snaking away into the Cuyahoga River, had gone down with all the crew in Lake Superior. On this day in 1975, the huge ore boat Edmund Fitzgerald sank in a storm. 35 years later, it still haunts us, the Great Lakes freighter Edmund Fitzgerald. In 75, heavy with its load, a Lake Superior storm tossed and twisted the vessel. She had weathered storms before, but not like that November 10th. She radioed she was in trouble. We're trying to get a uh, coastguard aircraft uh, launch to uh, come up to the area, but uh, I would say things were, things were pretty bad. She was out of Duluth, bound for Detroit, not Cleveland, as a song mistakenly states. At the Inland Seas Maritime Museum in Vermilion, Fitzgerald's story is viewed as one of man versus nature. Even in 1975, with lots of technological innovations available, you can lose a boat and still not know why. The Fitzgerald carried 26,000 tons of taconite. The storm worsened. Other ships were in contact. Ten minutes later, uh, the Fitzgerald is off the Arthur Anderson's radar screen and is out of radio communication. He had a list and he said he was holding his own. Uh, the last time I talked with him, he said he was holding his own. And, uh, that's the last time I uh, lost contact after that. She and her crew rest eerily at the bottom of Lake Superior. The story of hearty men, heavy ships, and stormy times. Men with courage who gutted out their livings on the Great Lakes. So when the Fitzgerald went down November the 10th, 1975, those who know of the story, the story still rings. 29 aboard, gone, the ship in 500 feet of water. 35 years ago, the Fitzgerald sank to a watery grave. The Fitzgerald at the bottom of Lake Superior sits right on the boundary line of U.S. and Canadian waters. Exactly what happened to cause the Edmund Fitzgerald to sink 35 years ago is debated, but not known for certain.